What's going on, Gemmin Knights? Welcome back to the channel. Gemmin here with another Omnibus haul. We actually have a deluxe edition and a slew of trade paperbacks that we're going to go over with as well. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a huge giveaway that we're almost ready to do the drawing for. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll show you what we got going on and how you can enter. First things first, let's talk about these trade paperbacks. We were fortunate enough to get one sent to us from Boom Studios, and then Marvel sent us a ton. All right, guys, Alienated is the only trade paperback out of this bunch that has already been released. Uh, some of my favorite comic book reviewers talk about these single issues each week. So this is a $20 trade paperback, which collects the first arc, uh, issues one through six. And I heard good things about this run, so I thought, you know, it'd be nice to get into it. Let's just flip through and uh, take a look at some of the artwork. I like the coloring a lot, I tell you that. Obia, great cover there. Traditional white spine. Here we have the back, and it collects the five issue series. $18 cover price. Let's flip through here. I'm not familiar with this store run, but it looks like it's gotta be sometime prior to Donny Kate's current run, and it doesn't look like it's around the time of Jason Aaron's run either. All right, next up we have the X-Men Alpha, Age of Apocalypse. This is a thicker trade paperback, almost like a, co a complete collection. It's volume one, so I'm sure they're gonna have the Omega one. But yeah, this is uh, Age of Apocalypse stuff. So what do we get? X-Men 320 and 321. I'm sorry, Uncanny X-Men. Then we have X-Men 40 and 41, Cable 20, X-Men Alpha. So it looks like you're getting uh, the first part of Age of Apocalypse for $34. You gotta love the 90s goodness. If you own the Omnibus, obviously you don't, you wouldn't pick up the trade, but if you're not an Omnibus collector and you wanna collect Age of Apocalypse, they're reprinting it here. All right, so then we have the New Mutants Volume 1. This is the Dawn of X stuff by Breeson, Flaviano, Fayala, and Lopez. So I guess this is not any of the Hickman stuff, right? It's just Volume 1 of his run. See, it collects issues three and four, six and eight through 12, because the other New Mutants issues were written by Jonathan Hickman. So this is the Ed Breeson version. Kind of weird how they split the responsibilities, but uh, it was a pretty good run, this New Mutant stuff. Pretty serious stuff went down here. Some high stakes. So this one comes out. Pick it up if you uh, wanna get caught up and you haven't been reading the single issues. All right, here are the trade paperbacks that Marvel sent to us that have a release date of December 9th. First up, we have Strike Force, Teeny Howard, you got Peralta, Kamanji, and Guru EFX. I think I read issue one of this. This is actually volume two of the trade paperback. Yeah, collect Strike Force six through nine, $16 cover price. Let's take a look at it. Teeny Howard obviously doing some Dawn of X titles. Just got done with Hickman doing uh, Ten of Swords. So this is Strike Force. Random cast of characters. You got Punisher, Blade, Spider Woman. Then we have an epic collection of the Mighty Thor, the Thor Ward, DeFalco, Friends, and Alifi. Here goes the Spine for you epic collectors out there. This collects Thor, uh, issue 437 through 450 with annual 16 and 17, has a $40 cover price. It's technically full, uh, Thor volume 19, which covers 1991 through 1992. I was flipping through this and the artwork looks great, man. And we got some Throg, Devastator. So the Thor Epic Collection, keeping it going. Speaking of Dawn of X, we have the Giant Size X-Men trade paperback. So Giant Size are like uh, a couple of one shots that have been sprinkled throughout this Dawn of X run. This has a $20 cover price, collects the Jean Grey and Emma Frost, Giant Size X-Men, the Nightcrawler one, Magneto, Phantom X, and Storm. These are oversized issues, but they tend to be more uh, heavy on the artwork than the story. As, you, as we flip through, you'll probably see, look, no dialogue on any of these pages so far. 
So, pretty much ties in with Dawn of X and what's going on in those titles. But still cool to pick up for some great art. And then we have the Amazing Spider-Man Green Goblin Returns, a Nick Spencer run with Federico Vicentini, Ryan Otley, Humberto Ramos, and Mark Bagley. So it's technically volume 10 of the current Amazing Spider-Man run, which collects issues 48 and 49, Sins of Norman Osborn, which is a one-shot, and material from the Free Comic Book Day 2020, the Spider-Man Venom book. And for, correct me, is that the one that's supposed to be the first appearance of Virus? Anyway, $18 cover price. I definitely thought the uh, Spider-Man run started to pick up once we got into the whole Sin Eater storyline. Even the current issues, what are we on, issue 53 or something like that, have been really good. So here we got the Sin Eater. This is kind of like the beginning of that arc. So it's a good jumping on point, actually, for Spider-Man. All right, in the last of the trades, we have another epic collection, Avengers West Coast Vision Quest by John Byrne, Englehart, and Milgram. This comes out on December 23rd. Amazing artwork in this run. Here we have the back. Technically, Volume 4 of West Coast Avengers, which collects issues 38 through 46 with Annual 3. Avengers West Coast, 47 through 52 with Annual 4. And material from Avengers Spotlight 23 with a $40 cover price so let's take a look here these epic collections are definitely for collectors who want a continuous run of the book they don't really want creative teamed omnis they just want the full run so this is the probably the best format in order to achieve that got white vision scarlet witch this is kind of like around the time with the uh that original game, right? The Avengers video game. All right. All right, guys, if you're looking to purchase any of these types of hardcovers, absolutes, omnibus, deluxe editions, check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. They sell them up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on tight packaging with fast shipping and excellent customer service. Plus, they have a bargain bin where you can get titles up to 90% off. If you mention this channel in the memo at checkout, your next order will have free shipping if you're in the United States. CheapGraphicNovels.com Alright guys, first up we have East of West, The Apocalypse, Year 3 by Jonathan Hickman, Dragata, and Martin. Beautiful cover here. Same uh, look on the spine as the other two volumes. And then here is the back. This has a cover price of $49.99. Let's take a look at what it collects. I am super slacking on East of West, man. I still haven't read my first two hardcovers. I didn't even know this was coming out, but I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm definitely planning to jump into Hickman's run on this soon. So let's see what we have here. It collects issues 30 through 45. So let's flip through here. And we'll take a look at, at the binding as well. The binding on this hardcover does feel a little tight. It doesn't really have gutter loss, but it won't really lay flat until you get around midway of the book. The thing is that the ribbon on the bottom doesn't really have that much give. It, there's a little bit of an eye, but it's a little tight. Now, I don't know if you know that's on every copy or if you'll loosen it up by stretching out the spine, but I mean, it still gets the job done. I mean, even like towards the end of the book, you don't have gutter loss, so just a little tight. All right, guys, from Marvel, we have the Excalibur Omnibus, Chris Claremont, Alan Davis. We have the, I think it's the direct market cover. I just like the cover that is one of the issues of the comic. So this is the cover from issue one. Spine looks great. Captain Britain, Excalibur, volume one. And here is the back where you have all of the covers of the comics. Collects issues one through 34. Also Excalibur, Mojo Mayhem, Quasar 11, Thor 427 through 429, and some material for Marvel Comics presents 31 through 38. This has a $100 cover price, and let's take off this dust jacket. The inside of the dust jacket, as normal, has a little biography on the run and how this book came through the aftermath of Fall of the Mutants, where the X-Men were dead, and it was just a new X title. Then it has a little biography on the creators who I mentioned earlier. 
Nice little image there of the team on the bottom. Beautiful wraparound cover with Hope as Phoenix with Megan, Captain Britain, Shadowcat, and Nightcrawler. Gotta love those red pages on the inside. Nice cover art here. You have your credits and your table of contents. And then we jump into the book. So this is prior to issue one. This is setting up the run. The artwork looks a little, uh, I don't know. The colors are a little flat and it looks a little like sketchy, right? But then you get into issue one here and then we start getting into some great artwork, man. Looks really good actually. So great binding on this book. You can see you can traverse easily through it. And the reason why is because look how much that ribbon lifts off of the hardcover. That's the difference between a tight book and a book that has good binding. The pages on this are not glossy like the Marvel Modern Omnis. They are, I don't want to say a thicker paper, but they're definitely not glossy. They're, it's more matte, uh, more, more of printed on white paper. So it seems like Marvel does that depending on the era. It looks awesome, man. I was flipping through this and I'm like, man, I really want to dive into this series. Maybe after my current read I'm going through. And of course you got a ton of bonus material in the back. Just a quick overview, so we'll not, we're not going to go through all of it. Alright, then we got a big boy from DC Comics, JLA by Grant Morrison. This omnibus is huge. Look at this spine, man. Wow. Here we go. So, what does this collect? We'll take a look at the issues on the inside, but it's Morrison's run on JLA. This has a $150 cover price. You know he loves Frank Quietly, so he's got him on the two graphic novels, but you have art uh, by Howard Porter, John Dell, and Pat Garay. Here we have the inside of the dust jacket, small little biography on what's going on in this book, and then you have some advertisements on the right. Here are the graphics on the actual hardcover with the spine. Made it a yellow background instead. And here is the back. We have Blue Lightning Superman. <laughs> that really brings me back. This was kind of a course correction, a resetting of the Justice League of America when Grant Morrison took over. Uh, so what is this? After Zero Hour, kind of after uh, uh, Superman Blue, and onto his own run. So what does it collect? Yeah, it has... Uh, Adventures of Superman 1 million, DC 1 million 1 through 4, DC 1 million 80 page uh, giant number 1, which uh, all of these 1 million stuff double dip with the 1 million omnibus. But then it has JLA 1 through 17, 22 through 26, 28 through 31, 34, 36 through 41, and some other, some other tie-ins. So it skips some of the issues that were not written by Grant Morrison. The artwork on this looks great, man. I like that kind of early 2000s art style. Right after the Copper Age and getting more into digitalized coloring. Now this book uh, is very large. It doesn't have a lot of give where the ribbon is concerned. You can see it's pretty much kind of like that uh, East of West binding. But the way that the pages are, they're they're you know pretty uh pretty thin, pretty floppy. Uh, you don't really suffer from too much gutter loss. You do have a little bit here, which you can kind of struggle to stretch out if you are so inclined. But also great material here, man. All right, the last book of the haul, Batman, The Road to No Man's Land Omnibus. Beautiful matte dust jacket here. Another thick Omni. And here we have the back. This is post-earthquake that levels Gotham. This is introducing us into the No Man's Land storyline. This has a $125 cover price and collects a ton of issues, man. You have Azrael, Agent of the Bat issues, Batman 553 to 562, uh, and a couple of other tie-ins. Shadow of the Bat, Catwoman, Detective Comics, Nightwing. Kind of got a wraparound cover going on here. Just a picture of the devastated Gotham City.
and let's kick it off to the beginning of the book. So you have your cover page here by Glenn Orbick and Laurel Bleachman. Your creative teams, table of contents. Then you have issue one here. So another very thick omnibus. Again, a little hard to get through the first half of it. Like while reading this, you're pretty much gonna have to hold the pages. Uh, until you get toward the middle. But the binding, very similar to the JLA Omnibus. A little bit of an eye on the ribbon there, but you're gonna have to basically be holding this one while you're reading it. Very dope to get another Omnibus uh, from Batman. I like this era of comics, and I'm excited for the uh, No Man's Land Omnibus as well which I'm assuming is coming shortly after. All right, guys, once we hit that 97,500 subscriber milestone, we're going to be giving away three prizes. This X-Men 4 CGC 9.8, the first appearance of Omega Red, this humongous oversized Alex Ross Marvel's hardcover, and then this soft cover set of the boys' omnibus. All you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel, leave a like and a comment on this video, and once we hit the milestone, we're going to do a live giveaway during one of our live streams. You never know which video is going to be picked for the drawing, so you got to make sure you comment on each one. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I try to streamline this segment a little bit, make it so that it's not as long. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below, and check out my other Omnibus hauls. Stay minty fresh. Peace.